your girl Tasha. If you're new to my channel, I focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you're an OG, hey boo, thanks for coming back. So, this video is going to be a little bit more informative. If you guys remember, I did a video dedicated to apple shape body type. So, if you're new here, my body type is apple shape. All of my styling videos is based on apple shape all of my hauls was based around apple shape but i did a video a video dedicated to how to bring shape to your body and how to define your waist um so again if you're not familiar with the apple shape body type we usually have broad shoulders average size bust average size arms and legs narrow hips no butts if you do have a butt like i said it's probably very small if you do have one and we carry all of our weight in our midsection and our underlying shape when we lose weight is hourglass so with being an apple shape woman um our biggest challenge is breaking shape to our body because we really don't have a shape because we carry everything in our midsection like i said our hips are very narrow or we don't have any hips no butt um so the best parts of our body to accentuate is our bust line and like our neckline and shoulder so like blazers look really nice on me oversized blazers structured blazers because i can carry that type of look on my body frame um a lot of people may have like a weak shoulder where their shoulder kind of drops and blazers really don't look good on them so in this video i'm going to do a part two to my initial video which that video had like a volume issue and a lot of you guys couldn't hear me on that video and that's also the video that's bringing in a lot of my new studies. So it's time for me to redo it. I'm going to talk about some of the same items that I talked about in that video. And I'm also going to, you know, show you guys it on my body to give you guys a reference. And I'll put the two pictures on the side like I do in my styling videos. Um, so if you're interested, girl, keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So the first item that I have on is an oversized shirt dress now as you guys know the whole oversized look is very much on trend as an apple shaped woman that could be something that is a little mm, scary because we already don't have any shape to us so wearing something oversized could be kind of like overwhelming if you don't know how to wear pieces or style pieces so first thing you want to always make sure that you're reading the fabric of the material to see if you can size down number one in an item. So this dress is from H&M. It's a shirt dress. It's like that Lysol material, which kind of feels like that gauzy type of material. Now, this dress I sized down to a large. I did purchase another one in a different print in an extra large that I plan on wearing as a kimono. So I'll show you guys that version as well. So you can have different alternatives. You can do this one as a kimono too, but I really wanted to wear this one as a dress. So I sized down in the large. As you guys know, H&M runs pretty big. So I'm normally like a 16, 18, more so of a true 18, depending on how it's cut. I can go down to a 16. I digress. So when you're wearing oversized dresses, if you're able to size down, size down. Now, with this one, I want the baggy, loose-fitting look. However, I do have the top unbuttoned some, and then I would unbutton the bottom part just by one. So when I'm walking, I have some skin exposed, and then I have the sleeves rolled up. So when you're doing an oversized look, make sure you have a little neckline exposed and maybe like a little leg exposed to give you some body and some movement when you're walking. Now, you also could wear a belt and belt this. I will get my statement belt to show you guys in a moment. You can also belt this if this is still just too much for you. But if you just want to be easy, breezy, cute, this would work fine. And it also has two splits on the side, which also helps with exposing some skin, giving you some movement, giving you some 
flow so you don't feel so swallowed in a dress which this dress i don't feel swallowed in i will show you guys the other version of this and you guys can see the difference in the other one i feel swallowed in that dress this one i just feel like regular but let me get the back okay, you guys so this is how the dress looks belted as you can see it accentuates my bust line it defines my waist it pulls me in it gives me a little shape so again if you're not comfortable with the oversized look even down while you, you know downsize the dress then you can still belt it just make sure you do a statement belt and i would recommend probably going up a size in your statement belt just to give you more flexibility in how tight you can or how loose you can make the belt just to give you more you know, options to play around so let's get into the other version okay, of you guys so here is the other version of that dress this is in a beige like a yellowy beige color with like pinstriping this is a extra large as you guys can see i have a whole lot of room in this dress compared to the large so even with this belted because this is so much extra fabric i don't think that it will work so this one i'm going to show you guys how to convert this into a kimono um or you can do like where it's like a beach cover up or a swimsuit cover up or whatever but i'm going to show you guys another way to wear your oversized shirt dresses that are just really just oversized even with a belt okay you guys so this is how i would wear this as a kimono so i also want to talk about another item as well so as an apple shape paper bag anything looks good on us paper bag jeans paper bag shorts paper bag pants paper bag skirts and you can downsize in the paper bag because it's just so much room in a paper bag so invest in some paper bag items it is a lifesaver now i picked up these shorts from h&m i hauled these for you guys a while ago now i think i got these in a 18 i don't know why i got them in a 16 maybe even a 14 to be honest with you guys but i was able to make them work so but nonetheless invest in some paper bag sh jeans short skirt paint anything it looks really good on our frames it actually you know makes us look flatter in our midsection it's not tight on the waist it's very breathable but i would recommend wearing something a little bit more fitted at the top to kind of balance you out with the apple shaped body it's always going to be about balancing out your body's height so i'm going to go ahead and step back and show you guys so this looks way better as a kimono than a dress or even a beach cover-up swimsuit cover-up so this is how i would wear this something you know casual like running to the mall get groceries just running errands and then i would wear like my little birkenstock um sandals like this is really chill or even a cookout i want to cook out on <laughs> sunday at my sister's house so this might be my outfit too i don't know but super chill Now with these shorts, because I did get them a little oversized, and I'm gonna show you guys the shorts without the dress. I won't be able to wear these shorts without something. I got to the tag on this dress, y'all. I won't be able to wear these shorts without something over top of me because I have so much room in the back. See? so much room in the back but had I sized down like I was saying they probably would have came in a little bit but I kind of like them flared out too that's why I never took them back because I like them when I don't like them so 
say that to say make sure you know you're sizing when you're doing paper bag now let me show you another way how you can wear this and still bring shape to your outfit so i just got some new blazers and i uploaded the h and haul for that so i just want to see what this looks like with a blazer i don't yeah so yeah going to their item invest in some good blazers h&m has been killing it with the blazer game lately like i have so many blazers in my wardrobe right now thanks to h&m so like i said blazers work on us because we have a wide back broad shoulders how we want to categorize it invest in a blazer a structured blazer at least at least two no three i'm lying three definitely a black one definitely some type of cream beigey nude one and maybe like a navy or a brown you guys know how i feel about brown lately but do you see how different this outfit looks with the blazer versus with the shirt dress and then you compare this with some heels like i just went from very chill running errands to switching out the shirt dress to a blazer throw on some cute little heels then i can go to a rooftop brunch rooftop lunch rooftop dinner cute little clutch sweetie did y'all not just see the change did y'all just not see the change Okay, you guys, so the next thing that I want to talk about is investing in a nice pair of dress shorts. Now, I do know that all apple shapes were not created equal. I know some of us, our midsections are way more rounder. Some people midsections may drop a little lower or go out a little wider. Or you could be like me where you're kind of narrow here smaller here and then you kind of bloat you know have weight in this area and i'm kind of able to i'm able to maneuver in and out of different things because i feel like my stomach is a little bit more pliable i know some people stomach can be like a little bit more solid a little bit more hard my stomach is a little bit more pliable so i can kind of mold my stomach into certain uh silhouettes i should say so I know that we're all not created equal, but if you're around my size, my frame, then invest in a pair of nice dress shorts. Another feature on Apple Shape, we usually have really nice legs. Like I said, we have average legs. My legs are really, really toned, kind of like athletic looking. I always get that like that I used to run track or whatever. Child, no, I never do no type of extracurricular activities, okay? So... <laughs> Accentuate, like I said, bust line, shoulders, legs. So if you're able to pull off this look, then definitely invest in a pair of nice dress shorts. I just hauled these shorts in my H&M unboxing, but I wanted to put this in my apple shape video because I didn't talk about shorts in my last apple shape video. Now, with this being said, this style of short is like those boxer shorts i do recommend you get in like some type of flowy um loose fabric type of shorts where it's not situating too much of your belly and it kind of like flows out from your leg and it's kind of tapered i actually like this dolphin cut short um and then this is very on trend with the boxer shorts that's out now that's you know wearable i'm going to pair it with a blazer So this is a straight cut blazer um, from H&M, which is also in my recent unboxing. Um, this stuff is still on my bed. I haven't hung it up. So it actually works well with our video. So if you're not 100% comfortable with wearing the shorts with just the tank top, again, get a blazer that has the shoulder pads and this little structure because it will cover you up and it makes you look smaller in your midsection, it makes me look smaller. 
but this is how it looks buttoned up this is like a very nice cut blazer it's not adding any volume to me even buttoned up but definitely when you wear your blazers open as an apple shaped woman because it kind of falls like in a v it makes us very narrow in this area and then the shoulder the structure in the shoulder like it gives us like a very nice structured silhouette and then we bounce back out at the bottom because we taper down so this will give you some coverage if you're not 100 percent comfortable with you know just being out so invest in a nice tank top that essential waist your bust line i'm really into the square necks now over v-necks i feel like the square neck also accentuates my frame up here it accentuates my bust line it accentuates my shoulders it accentuates i have structure and so i really really like the square cut nail over the crew or the v-neck so invest in some square neck items if you don't have any okay you guys so this is when we broken down into different categories with this one outfit so like i said before there's a lot of trends that's out here that you may or may not want to dab and dab into however if you do want to dab and dab into the trend this is how you do it so you guys know again oversized everything is on trend right now wearing super tight clothing is like dead dressing elevated super on trend on all age levels doing monochrom monochromatic looks on trend wearing blazers on trend whether it's a blazer or a blazer vest if it's women wearing men's fashion on trend wild egg pants on trend okay <laughs> crop tops on trend putting it all together on trend <laughs> so these pants you guys if you've been following me you guys seen me style this suit multiple different ways i have a whole video dedicated on styling this suit breaking this suit down into 10 outfits i will link that video below if you're interested so this outfit these are wild egg pants now initially i'm not going to lie i was a little scared about jumping on this trend of it being a wild egg pant because i didn't know if it was going to swallow me or not because I, like i said i carried all my weight in my midsection i knew these pants had pleating which pleating could be hit or miss for a plus size woman okay especially if you're pear shaped or hourglass shaped and you have more hips than more butt because the fabric is pulling out this way if you're apple shape triangle shape it may work better on those body types because we're not pulling this way we're pulling this way so that was one thing but when i got these pants they are narrow at the waist they flounce out in the midsection so i have the pleating it's not accentuating any of my lower half of my stomach and then i get the wide leg effect and then it's not a long pant like it still hits me at a very very nice length now it is fitted here on the waist so that would have to you have to figure out like i said how you're set up in your midsection because apple shape is kind of broken down into like different types of apples but make sure that if you are going to do a wild leg paint that you get something that's fitted in the waist has type of pleating to camouflage the fupa in this area and then it's not so baggy on the leg now you also want to invest in some blazer vests blazer vests especially in the warmer months when you still want to wear a blazer so it looks elevated 
invest in a blazer vest. Also invest in a crop top, one that is a little bit longer and then you have a high waist pant, so it's really not exposing you. And then being monochromatic, always look chic, it's easy, it's elevated, it's classic, it's timeless. Now, with these pants, I will probably always wear something over it because since I don't have any shape and I don't like how it fits me in the back because they're so high waisted and high cut, it cuts me up this way and it's not flattering on me from the back. The front looks flattering on me because it brings me in and I look fine. But from the back, it's weedy. It's a no for me. So, it depends on your comfort level. But for me, I would wear, I would always wear a blazer with these pants. Also, I want to just say that some trends that's out there, some looks that's out there, whether it's a trend or not, the number one thing is being confident in your style and ability. Some things, you just have to own it. Some things you can't camouflage. Some things you just, you just got to go out there. If you really, really like it and you think that you look nice in it, you just got to do it. So the number one thing is having your confidence up there and just owning the look. If you're wearing something and the clothes is wearing you, people are going to be able to tell that you're not comfortable or confident in what you're wearing. So always make sure that you're owning a look. Now, let's jump into jeans. Okay, I lied. Before we get into the jeans, an outfit popped up my head and I just had to try it. So those same blue shorts, I picked them up in like this dark beige brownie color and I just wanted to see how it looked with the crop top and the blazer. Now, this is an example of something that you just have to own. Now, these shorts are in the extra large. They don't fit tight here and I don't feel like my fupa is really that exposed. It depends on the angle because like from this angle, I can kind of see like the separation between, because I have like a line here in my stomach, but my underwear is not here. I just have like a line there, but then I can see the line where my underwear is too. So this is something that I would just have to own. It. Like I actually like this outfit. I actually know how I would style it. This is something that I would just have to figure out how to work in my midsection. Um, I'll probably have to just play around with my undergarments or whatever or shapewear um, <clears throat> with that. But this is something that I would just have to own it. I would just have to own it because I really, really like this outfit. So. What y'all think about this one? Just had to throw that one in there real quick because it just popped up. Okay, you guys. So another trend is balloon jeans. Um. So the difference between balloon jeans and mom jeans is that balloon jeans are fitted very narrow in the midsection, and then they flare out at the bottom. Mom jeans is kind of fitted in the midsection as well and then it kind of is like a little loose in the leg but it flares out at the ankle so <clears throat> these jeans i got from nasty or these are true jeans true denim so they're very narrow in the waist they do bring attention to my midsection but then they flare out at the leg but i actually really like these jeans and I like them with a crop type of top or a fitted top that's tucked in with a blazer or an oversized shirt like I like the whole oversized look with these so I did end up cutting them at the bottom because it was so much fabric at the bottom that it was swallowing me so I did end up doing that so I'm going to step back so you guys can see but also when I cuff these and wear them with heels it, it gives me like a totally different look as well
Now, as you guys can see, like these jeans do nothing for my back, my backside. So this is another example of a trend that you want to try or you have tried and you like it, but you don't know how to really style it, but you still want to do it. This is another trend that you're just going to have to just do it. Like you, you just want to just do it, but make sure that you're still wearing something kind of fitted up here to kind of bring you in and give you some some type of shape. So even though it accentuates my midsection because this shirt stops at my waist, it has like a little shape here to accentuate my shoulders, my bust. It brings me in at the smallest part of my waist. So when I get here, I'm still kind of balanced. It's just that I have the attention here. But I would very much wear this. Now, I'm going to show you a different way how to wear these with a blazer to give you guys another. Okay, so this is how these jeans look with a blazer. I just paired like a red knit tank top with them, threw in this blazer, and it balances you out. So always, like I say, wear something that's a little more flattering and situating up here. Bringing out your shoulders, keep you either cinched in at the waist or have you narrowed through your whole midsection. You just have to bring balance to your body. And then I would wear a pointed toe shoe, whether it's a mule or a heel, I would wear something pointed toe to give me some type of elongation on the bottom as well. So the next thing that I want to get into is a slip dress. If you don't have a slip dress, girl, who have you been? So slip dresses, I'm going to touch base on this before I actually go and pull the dress. Slip base, I say slip bases. Slip dresses naturally have a curvy silhouette to them. So they look good on every body type, especially on an apple shape because it gives us shapes for our body which we need so let me go ahead and pull my little black sexy slip dress you can do you can do this with either a slip dress or a slip skirt um i prefer the slip dresses to have the cow neck and i prefer the slip skirts that are cut on a bias so keep that in mind okay you guys so the next item that you should have in your wardrobe as an apple shape is a slip dress okay slip dress now if it looks a little weird up here it's because i just took my straps and tucked them in and i didn't fix these straps or whatever but nonetheless invest in a satin slip dress preferably with the cow neck because it gives shape here and it accentuates your neckline your bust line it just looks really really nice now there are different cuts of a slip dress. You wanna make sure that you're getting a cut that's cut on a bias, or you wanna make sure that you're getting one that has like some type of jawstrings where you can, it has like a little bit of erosion and you can control how short or how long you want it. But you wanna make sure if it's not on a bias, that you want one that comes like this because it gives you like that same silhouette. But preferably, cut on the bias because it's, it's naturally a shape in those type of um, silk dresses or the slip skirts. When you have the A-line ones, they don't really flatter apple shape. And I have different cuts of a slip dress, but I find that I only like the cow neck ones versus like the V-neck. But as you guys can see, this dress is giving me body. Okay. <laughs> I came through for the girls. So this is a cute little dress that you can wear to dinner. Like I, I've been wearing things so out of the occasion because I wore this dress recently out with my boyfriend just to like go grab like some food, like something chill. But I wanted to wear a dress. It was hot that day, and I had this on, and he was like. 
<laughs> I want you. <laughs> Sweetie, relax. I'm hungry. Feed me. Okay. <laughs> but yes, this dress, fire. I got this dress from Fashion Nova last year. It may or may not still be available. I don't remember the name of it. Um, yeah, I just not got it from Fashion Nova. So check Fashion Nova to see if they still have. I think it might be called Pull My Strings Slip Dress, if I'm not mistaken. Go get you this. Apple Shade Girls, we're gonna go get Okay, them. Apple Girls. So the last thing that I wanna include in this video is rompers. So I have a different, I have a few different silhouettes of a romper, but I feel like this is probably the cut that a lot of people will probably feel comfortable in. So with rompers, you wanna make sure that, so this is a linen romper from Ella Queen. And I got this in a size 20. Now in Eloquy, I'm usually a 14, 16 since they're true plus size. Depending on the cut, the silhouette, how I want it to drape on my body, I will go up to an 18 or a 20. So with this one, because it was linen and it's a romper, I decided I wanted to go up to a 20 because I wanted it to fit more relaxed on me. So with that being said, because I have thicker thighs even though my legs are small i have thicker thighs so if i wear something that's kind of short when i'm walking it's going to ride up and i want it to be able to have this just lay um nicely on me and then i didn't want it too tight up here since this is where i'm the broadest and widest on my body so with this romper because i went up it's more of a relaxed fit it doesn't accentuate my midsection. It doesn't swallow me. I still feel like it accentuates my bust line, my shoulders. It gives me a shape in my waist because it comes with a tie belt. And it just looks really, really nice. And then it gives me like a little flow in the shorts because I did upsize. So when you're picking out rompers, whether it's a short one or a long wide leg one, you wanna make sure that you have some type of body movement and flow in your rompers as well. Again, you wanna always accentuate what is the most flattering on your body and then buy, you know, mix and match pieces that kind of camouflage your imperfections. And then, sweetie, <laughs> it's a thing. So, you guys, I think I think I covered a lot. I gave you guys wide leg pants. I gave you shorts. I gave you jeans. I gave you a dress. I gave you a romper, some blazers. If it's something else that you guys want me to show you how to wear as an apple shape, just let me know in the comments until the next video. Bye, y'all.